Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's episode in the Fluval Evo build. Um, in this week's episode we're going to look at some general maintenance of the Fluval Evo tank. Um, over the holiday period it's been quite busy so i uh, not really had that much time to really keep up with the tank. Um, I've been doing my water changes but as you can see some algae is growing on the, on the glass and um, yeah we're just going to take care of that today. So as you can see all the corals are still doing really well, um, the colours are really popping um, due to the weekly feeds and um, yeah it's all looking good but you can clearly see the algae now starting to grow on the sides of the tank and it's actually quite a rough tough algae that's actually really difficult to get off with, The even the flipper nano. Um, so I'm going to have to tackle that today using um, a nice uh, Stanley blade. see some little corals we have. We have this little nice little, um, little purple blue mushroom and you can see from the little snail here the actual algae grow on the snail's shell. Um, this is just to be expected I think in my system at the minute. And also some bubble algae that's also in the system. Um, it's starting to spread but I'm not too worried really about it. Um, I know my macroalgae will, will start to kick in and start to grow a lot more and we'll keep the, the nutrients under control. Uh, one thing I'm going to tackle is this kind of brown algae on the back. Um, and it scrapes off pretty easily, so I'm going to get to it. So as you can see, we're running the half-inch D-Flow nozzle. Um, we have it in this luminous... Uh, I think it's actually a yellow, but it looks green on camera, but it's a yellow. Uh, as you can see the random flow coming from the nozzle. Uh, we're running, again, we're running the DCS 1200 litre pump, and we recommend this pump for all our customers who are also looking to do the same thing. So this shot, we can see the actual side of the tank and um, what we're going to tackle today with our Stanley blade. This is a nice clean new blade, um, which we're going to use to um, scrape the algae off the sides of the glass. This is very very sharp, um, but it needs to be needs to be sharp really to get it off, and also to make sure it's not going to scrape your glass if it's a blunt blade. So you can see it gets yeah, the tough algae off there very easy. I'm just applying uh, uniform pressure to the whole blade, making sure to have it at an angle towards the glass. So we get it to scrape it off, and just being really careful around the seams of the glass as well, so we don't want it. Um, I don't want to basically damage those at all. You start to see now all the algae floating around um, in the middle of the tank. And again, we'll use it to get off this really tough algae along the surface as well. As you can see, it comes off in sheets. It's it's really really thick, um, and the flipper just couldn't couldn't get it off at all. No matter how many times I went over it, um, it just wouldn't get it off. I'm starting to think maybe my blade needs replaced within the flipper. So yeah, I'm just scraping off the little patches that I see on the front glass. Just so we can get a nice clean finish on the glass. Just being careful around the corals not to really hit them. So now you can see a lot of debris floating around inside the tank. Um, but I'm not worried about this, the filter and the filter floss from the D-Flow Media Baskets will take this out. As you can see it's starting to do it already. It's flossing the water nicely for us. It's going to alter the direction of the nozzle just so I can get all of the, the debris in the tank up into the water column and then allow it to get skimmed out of the water through the baskets. You see a nice little top down shot there, the colours are really striking at the moment. So another thing I'm going to tackle this week is the macroalgae. So I have, um, it's a Calerpa prolifera I think the term uh, is, and I have it growing at the back of my tank. Um, basically both for aesthetics and also quite practical as it absorbs the excess nutrients inside my tank um, and acting like you 
piece of chedo uh, in a refugium, but it's quite a nice looking, um, nice looking algae. So I like to grow it inside the main display. So I like to take out little bits of that every week to kind of keep on top of it. Also, it acts as a nutrient export for the system. So I get a few questions uh, regarding superglue. Um, this is just a basic bow stick um, superglue gel. Um, I get it in like um, a pound shop, uh, just really cheap and simple. And it's also reef safe, so it's pretty good. So I also did uh, my weekly 10 litre water change on the system. And after that, I also like to replace the two floss um, pieces in the D-Flow chamber one and two. As you can see, they do a really good job collecting a lot of uh, detritus and really flossing the water. And I just like to replace those with just another piece of um, floss that I tear from a large roll. Make sure it's not too thick as well as we don't want this to clog up the entire chamber when it gets blocked. So keep it nice and thin if possible. Now we put our lid back on. This is a D-Flow chamber lid which we designed recently, which does a nice job of covering it. And this is a special little thing this week. Um, this is something my dad actually made for me. He's a, a stained glass artist, and uh, he does this in his spare time as well. It's a really nice piece of art that um, I hang above my tank. Um, if you're interested in something like this, um, just let me know and um, we'll see if he can also make one for you. But um, yeah, no promises on that. So yeah, at the end of the tank maintenance, um, I like to clean the glass down with some IPA and uh, microfiber cloth just to get any of the excess water off from the water change just to leave it nice and clean for the rest of the week. I do it on the front and the side. So yeah guys, that's it. Um, maintenance this week is pretty quick. Um, just a few trimmings. Um, I moved some corals around, moved the sand around, and yeah, just um, just general maintenance in this little system. It's been great, and um, yeah, I've had no problem with it. So again guys, there'll be another episode out in a few weeks time, just updating um, any changes I plan to do to the tank, and so, thanks guys.